It is estimated most human beings only use 10% of the brain's capacity. Imagine if we could access 100%. Interesting things begin to happen. I have access to 28% of my cerebral capacity. I can feel every living thing. What happens when she reaches 100%? I have no idea. So there's this uh, myth that we only use 10% of our brains and that's really simply not true. We are probably using uh, all of our brain much of the time and much of our brain all of the time. Even when you're engaged in a task and some neurons are engaged in that task, the rest of your brain is occupied doing other things, which is why, for example, uh, the solution to a problem uh, can emerge uh, after you haven't been thinking about it for a while or after a night's sleep and that's because your brain is constantly active. If it were true that we only use 10% of the brain, then we could presumably sustain damage to 90% of our brain uh, with a stroke or something or brain injury or something like that and not have any effects and that's clearly not true. So the question of where the 10% myth originated uh, uh, is an interesting one. The answer is it's, uh, it's murky. According to some accounts, uh, it dates back to William James, a professor of psychology at Harvard, who suggested uh, based on his work that humans don't really use their brain to its uh, full capacity. And then somehow this got distorted over time and uh, somebody slapped a figure on there and became the 10% uh, myth as we understand it now. So how would we rank the plausibility of Lucy's implausible powers? telekinesis, uh, accelerated learning, controlling time and controlling consciousness, right? Uh, first of all, let me say that, uh, you know, uh, they're all pretty implausible. But uh, of the four, I would think that uh, accelerated learning might be the one that uh, is actually closest to reality. What's that? Karin, I'm gonna drive. Hey, 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 no, 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 this is a police car. You can't. No, this is not possible, lady. This is a police car. In terms of uh, getting somebody's body part to move, telekinesis, uh, I think that would be hard to do without a brain-machine interface that uh, is actually of uh, being applied in uh, neuro rehabilitation right now. In, in terms of control of somebody else's consciousness, uh, you could do it, but you'd need drugs as we do every day in general anesthesia for surgery. And finally, control of time, I think, is more about physics and relativity uh, than biology. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.